you know, a lot of people say, well, bears aren't true hibernators. And even among bear biologists, some of the people here, they will say, well, we don't call bears hibernators, they're doing something different. But I think, personally, I think that's all kind of semantical. Bears do something physiologically that's really different. Basically, they aren't going to the bathroom, they aren't urinating or defecating and um, eating or drinking. They probably, a lot of them may come out of the den and get a little bit of snow from time to time if they start to get a little bit dehydrated. But in the summertime, if they tried to do that, the waste products uh, from burning their own fat, metabolizing, making energy for themselves, those waste products, those would poison them. And in the wintertime though, they don't have to urinate those because they have a mechanism of rebuilding those nitrogen wastes into new amino acids and into new proteins and, and storing those in the body. When they're hibernating, um, okay, their heart rate goes quite low. Their body temperature drops, um, oh, five degrees to 10 degrees, something like that, depending on things. And so um, they just, they try to conserve energy. They try to conserve water, that's very important. Um, they, they sleep kind of all curled up in a ball with their head curled in between their arms, breathing into their belly area so that um, when they breathe out, they don't lose that heat. They can breathe back in pretty warm air. If they breathe out moisture, they can breathe a lot of that moisture back in and conserve that. Um, and the only parts of themselves that are really exposed are along the back where the hair is the thickest and the fat is the thickest and then on the sides and usually they build a big nest either in the den or sometimes they're just out in the open and they build a big nest around themselves and that insulates them from the ground and also insulates some of the lower part of their body from the air. And how is that different than something else? I mean, well, the, the, some of the animals that they call true hibernators, like ground squirrels, and what's different there is that their body temperature drops way down, almost to freezing um, in, in many cases, and their, um, meta their breathing and heart rate also drop way down. But every once in a while, they have to wake up and go find, go find their store of food and eat and drink and replenish themselves, and then they go back into this state. Um, with bears, like I think the reason that people never called them true hibernators is because they don't lower their body temperature that much, but they lower it enough to slow a lot of the processes down. Um, and they can wake up just like that. If you approach the den, they can, usually when we go to the dens, um, they'll be kind of looking at us. It's not like they're dead to the world. They'll be looking and wondering what's going on. Um, and if, and, and they're quite different in personality, some of them will actually occasionally get up and run away, whereas one of the true hibernators can't rouse itself that fast. So.